and be a part of the global outreach. Well, he represents more Haitian Americans than any other member of Congress. That's why Kendrick Meek didn't want to wait any longer. The representative from South Florida bought a one-way ticket from Miami to the Dominican Republic, landing Sunday morning just after midnight, then getting a local driver to take him into Haiti, that process taking several hours. And he is now in Port-au-Prince, where he joins us live this morning. Good morning, Congressman Meek. Good morning. So you've been on the ground now for a full day. What have you seen? What's it been like in Haiti? An awful lot, an awful lot. The port is in bad condition. Um, this city needs a lot of work. Uh, security is definitely going to be a priority in the next um, hours or a couple of days. And um, the rescue workers are still pulling people from um, brick and mortar. Last night, I was with the Miami-Dade Fire Urban Rescue Unit, and they saved a young girl and her brother, um, and before that, a three-year-old baby. So it's a truly amazing work going on here um, by the international community and by a number of our firefighters in the United States. Absolutely. These people working tirelessly in uh, unthinkable conditions to try to desperately save these survivors. And, Congressman, we actually have some video of that rescue that you were at where you talked about uh, them being able to pull that small girl from the rubble. Uh, you know, doesn't it just, don't you marvel at the thought that these people can survive I mean, five, six days in some cases under the rubble? Absolutely. And it's, it's kind of cool, but then it's hot here. And the fact that people are living under these conditions are, are truly, truly amazing. Um, many of the rescuers, including myself, are very emotional by what's happening here. The resolve of the Haitian people. The fact that the locals flagged us down and they were trying to dig her out yeah, we see um, by her. themselves. Yeah, we see her right there. It's uh, amazing. It is amazing to see her. She uh, has her eyes open there. Uh, one of the rest is holding on to her, or uh, perhaps that's one of her family members. Uh, do you know her condition now? That's her father. Her that's actually her father. Her father was there, and um, I took my iPhone out and took this footage that you're looking at now. and. Um, he was so happy to see him. Unfortunately, the, the mother um, was still un under there and she expired. But um, mm -hmm. I understand that she's fine. She's in the hospital recovering right now. But she was in pretty good shape and she was responding to her father. Oh, well, thank God for that small miracle as we talk about, uh, you know, amidst all of this tragedy. You know, one of the uh, big issues w that we've been talking about, uh, Congressman, is the inability of all of that aid that has poured into the country to actually get to uh, many of the people that need it. I mean, as we talked about, people are still waiting, in some cases, for food and water nearly a week after the tragedy. How do we expedite that process? What are some of the biggest hurdles and how do they overcome them. Well, the big hurdle is the fact I believe that the folks are looking at security for those that are coming out into the field. Right now, um, people are trying to help you. There's very little security risk on the street right now. Obviously, your reporters are moving around without problems. Um, but I think that that is going to expire pretty soon. If we don't get water, if we don't get shelter, if we don't get security right behind me, it's going to end up being a situation. I know because we've seen it before here in Haiti, and now it's exa is exacerbated by the fact that folks don't have homes and they can't get out to, uh, to, 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 to provide for themselves. So right now they need some serious, serious assistance. And I know that 82nd Airborne is grouping themselves to be able to provide that security, but you have the UN here, have the 82nd, and so it's important that they come together to be able to make sure that they bring about not only security, but also humanitarian, the, meet the humanitarian needs of thousands of people that are living on the streets. Absolutely. Well, you see, you're seeing it firsthand yourself. Uh, you represent uh, Haitian Americans who are very worried about their loved ones there. Uh, thanks for spending some time to talk to us this morning, Representative Kendrick Meek. Thanks. Thank you.